Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to drop down and then pick back up stitches, knits and purls using a crochet hook. So I'm going to start by dropping the stitches down. So sometimes you drop them by accident, sometimes you need to drop them on purpose to fix a mistake. But I want to show you how easy it is to pick them back up. First notice, this is wool yarn, that the stitches don't just zip down. You have, to, you have to work at it to get them to come out. Now if you're working with bamboo, nylon, rayon, silk, yes they'll slip out much easier. But with wool, you kind of have to pull on them to get them to come out. But I'm going to drop all the way down into the stockinette stitch portion and then show you how to pick up the stitches using the crochet hook. Okay, so first I want to, let's just look at this and make some observations. If we look, we noticed we have our loose stitch here. I'm going to go ahead and put my crochet hook in it, although it's probably not going to go anywhere. But the, the strands directly above that, we can see they're all to the back of the work. They're pushing out to the back. And then the strands that were for the garter stitch, some of them are coming to the front and some to the back, and the same for the seed stitch. About half of them are pushing to the front and the other half are pushing back. Why is that? Well, we know that when we're making a knit stitch, we hold the working yarn to the back. So when you go from a knit to a knit, the working yarn is behind and so when you take out the column of stitches it falls back to the back in the same manner. So how do you pick up knits? You start with your crochet hook going up through the bottom loop and you find the very lowest strand and you put your crochet hook under it, turn the crochet hook and pull that strand through. So now you've just made a knit stitch put the crochet hook under the strand, turn it a little bit to catch it in the hook and pull it through. And we're going to do that all the way up one strand at a time until we've finished the stockinette stitch section. Now the next strand we can see is pushing forward. See these are pushing forward. When the strand is pushing forward, that means that there is a purl stitch on this side and a purl stitch on this side. So that tells us it needs to be a purl. So what we have to do to work the purl is we have to take the crochet hook out of our current stitch, move that strand that wants to be the purl below our current stitch. So it's actually below it. Put your crochet hook back in going down, catch the strand, and pull it through. So now you've made a purl bump there. Our next strand we can see is pushing through to the back back here. It's right there. So it, it's going to be a knit because it's going to the back, so we're going to put our crochet hook under it, pull it through as a knit. Now we've got our garter ridge. The next one is pushing through to the front again. So that means we have to take our crochet hook out, move the strand below our stitch, put the crochet hook back in, go below and grab that yarn and pull it through. Then we'll look for our next one on the back because we know we're still doing garter stitch. It's right here and pull it through as if to knit. We have another purl here so we're going to take our crochet hook out, move the yarn below the stitch, then come back from the top with the crochet hook, pull the yarn through. Then we're going to have our last garter stitch, knit stitch, and we're going to pull that through. Now we're going to start the seed stitch. 
this next row is seed stitch. So we know seed stitch is knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, right? And this strand is coming forward. That means there's a purl here and a purl here, so it tells us it has to be a knit because in seed stitch it's knit, purl, knit, purl. So if it's purl, purl, this has to be a knit. We just pull it through as a knit. Then we have our next strand that's going through to the back there and it's going between two knits so we know it has to be a purl. We have to bring it forward over the stitch, come down through the stitch with the hook, pull that stitch through to make that purl. Then this is going to be a knit The next one is going to be a purl. It's to the back. We've got to bring it forward and below. Go down with the crochet hook. Get that strand. Pull it through. The next one's a knit. And the last one's going to be a purl. We're going to bring it over the top. And there you go. Let's take a look and see what we've got. See if it goes in pattern. I highly recommend doing this on a swatch and just practicing until you feel comfortable with it before trying it on a project. It's always good to know how to drop down and pick up stitches. So it looks perfect. Yay! If you enjoy my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down there. Then there's a little bell you can hit to make sure it has the vibrating mark so you get notifications when I make a new video. And come back and watch some more. Oh, and share my videos with your friends. Thank you. Happy knitting!